Using downloaded bitmaps as textures is a really great and fast way to add time consuming and difficult to paint detail to our materials as you can see on the floor of this render. As soon as we start animating however the details of the texture may begin to flicker, jitter, buzz, whatever. This buzzing becomes much more noticeable here if we look at this without the added smoke. So how do we go from this to this? In this Cineversity 101 quick tip, I'm going to give you a three-step strategy to fix buzzing textures in animations. The issues here are the type of sampling applied to the texture and the anti-aliasing settings. This buzzy animation is using the default settings for anti-aliasing and texture sampling. Those are best anti-aliasing with a min level of one by one and a max level of 4x4. Four four. The threshold is at 10% and I did set the filter to Gauss and the MIP scale is 50%. Everything there is default except for the Gauss filter. The first thing I'm going to do though is set the anti-aliasing threshold from 10% down to 0. Okay so we can see that we're not getting as many stark black pixels causing that jittering, but it's clearly still a little dancy and buzzy. So what I'm going to do next is increase the min-max levels of the AA. Now here you can see the render without the volumetric light and you can see how great that floor looks. I've set the max level as high as possible, 16 by 16, and the threshold is at 0%, so every pixel had 16 sub-pixels being calculated for anti-aliasing, but the render time went up to two and a half hours from only 29 minutes, uh, which was using the default anti-aliasing settings. Now, instead of upping the anti-aliasing so much, what I'm going to do is increase the amount of blur applied to the MIP sat texture sampling, and I'm going to put it up to 150%. Now we can see that it's much more smooth and we are less distracted by all the jittering pixels and the render time was only 20 minutes. But I'm losing some of the details of this texture which sort of defeats the purpose of using a bitmap. We can see the loss of detail most at these acute angles to the floor. But again the render time was only 20 minutes so increasing the MIP scale actually sped up the render. So where exactly is that three-step strategy I mentioned? One, assuming render time is not an issue. Simply set your threshold to zero percent in your anti-aliasing settings and do a single frame test render and look for artifacts like these black pixels. These aren't shadows, these are artifacts. Two, increase your anti-aliasing max level and min level if you're throwing render time to the wind and as always do a test render for artifacts and if you don't see any then do an animated test render and three increase your MIP scale now these steps don't need to be done in that order the important thing is to try each of them one at a time until you find the combo that works best for you if you're interested in personalized training or project assistance, visit cineversityoneonone.com and visit cineversity.com for more great tutorials and resources.